But I met Bob Marley with the Rainbow with a guy called Chris Blackwell. Chris Blackwell, not many people know him. He started Island Records and never looked back. You never make money out of Chris Blackwell. <laughs> a Chris Blackwell story, I had a label, a small indie label in the 70s. It was one of the first indie labels. And I signed a female artist, I won't mention her name. Her name was Claire Hammond. <laughs> And I, I went to a meeting with Chris, because I think he still had a few options on the contract. And uh, Chris said, Ray, I've done all I can with her. Take her off my hand. <laughs> so I took her off his hand, I signed a really big deal with her, and uh, financed a lot of it myself. Made the record, just about to put it out, and my office said, Ray, there's a phone call from Chris Blackwell. And Chris, Please, this shouldn't go out in public. Don't tell me what I told you. I said, Chris, Ray, I've been thinking about it. I invested such a lot of money in her. <laughs> so I had to buy her out of the contract a bit late. I shouldn't really say this in cash. But Chris is a great guy. He, he started many, he, the first time I met Chris, he was with the uh, Spencer Davis group. And he was a real maverick, you know, he's up there with all the greats in the music industry. And um, I met, met Marley at the Ray Rainbow Theatre, is now a religious, but also a religious set. And I wrote a song called Black Messiah, not about Bob Marley, but about, it was quite radical for its time, because there's a lot of racial tension in England, and under, undercurrent, a place called Finsby Park, Finsby Park is like, uh, uh, oh, Watts or the Treme area in New Orleans is quite a hotbed of racial tension. And Marley, I think, was an innovative writer and a great footballer. He played a lot of soccer. And I didn't buy a BMW though. But Bob Marley in the way is a great group. Uh, Mary Jane has a question uh, asking.